In this video, I'm going to use Flare.io to test out if a SaaS platform can deliver actionable threat intel, find compromised assets of mine, and allow me to dance around the dark web like I'm Belle from the Beauty and the Beast. Can it be done? I don't know. Let's find out. What's up, everybody? Dr. Gerald Ogier here. We're going to be diving deep into Flare.io today, a cutting edge cyber threat intel platform that's really a game changer. I want to be popping the hood, get my hands dirty, and show you exactly what it can do. Now, if you haven't heard of Flare.io, as I hadn't before, multiple people in my professional circle had been talking it up. Jason Haddix had mentioned it to me, Gary Ruddle had mentioned it to me, and a few others. So when Flare.io actually reached out to me to collaborate on a sponsored video, I was completely down. Down. I would have made this video without the sponsorship, frankly, but don't tell Flare.io about that, okay? Now stay tuned to the end where I'll be sharing a bonus feature from Flare.io that will make your life even easier, especially if you prefer tactical work over more management type work. Now, a quick look at Flare shows this threat intel platform allows organizations to configure identifiers such as domains, name, email, IP address, username, and more typically associated with the organization that you're protecting or maybe some VIPs at the organization. The system will proactively notify you if Intel is ingested into Flare, matching any of those to allow you to respond as soon as possible. Now, by default, I've been getting emails. I don't know if you can configure it with webhooks and automation to go into Slack and stuff like that, but I would imagine that's kind of a standard feature many of these platforms have at this point. The key takeaway is that they're proactively looking, so it's like having staff 24 seven kind of manning the dashboard, if you will. On top of that, you can effectively go threat hunting using the search bar to search through hundreds of thousands of data points for what is actually relevant to you, which is super cool. Now the platform I think is awesome. And I'm actually gonna walk you through three different use cases that you're really gonna enjoy. But before I melt your face with Flare.io, let's unpack what cyber threat intelligence is just a little bit and why it's got value to information security programs in case you don't know about it. And if you don't, this is a huge opportunity, right? So cyber threat intelligence is a flashlight that shines a light on threat actors and the seedy underbelly of, you know, bad on the internet. It's not just about knowing threats exist. We all know threats exist. It's about understanding who's behind those tactics, techniques, and procedures, and how can we protect ourselves and the organizations we're paid to protect before bad happens to them. Threat intel, it informs, it influences decisions, and it's actionable. In short, it's wicked valuable, especially when you have limited budget, limited time, limited people, right? You've got to be able to make those decisions based on some level of confidence. But traditional CTI approaches can sometimes feel like drinking from a fire hose. Unfortunately, information overload, lack of context, the sheer pace at which the threat landscape evolves can leave even most seasoned pros gasping for air. It really is overwhelming. But Flare.io takes the overwhelming deluge of information and actually distills it into crystal clear actionable insights, which I appreciate. It's like having a cyber concierge essentially enriching and curating data so you can focus on hardening your defenses where it actually matters most. And on a personal note, I have zero tolerance, I don't know about you, for buffering or load times on web apps. So when you're searching a massive catalog of collected data, Flare.io is actually really snappy with its results and, and returns. Uh, it's definitely not the main selling point that you'll see on the front page of the website, but for a user, I absolutely love it. And that's why Flare.io's modern approach to cyber threat intel is so valuable. It acknowledges the pitfalls of data deluge and the critical need for precision targeted intelligence and provides curated useful intel and the ability to proactively be alerted for your assets. And they can roll dark mode by default, which is totally my jam. Sounds good, but this is just another pane of glass, right, Jerry? Next gen, ooh, all the corporate digital transformation buzzwords you're gonna throw at me, right? So actually, let's take a look and get under the hood and like look at actual demonstrations, starting with leaked credentials. All right, so really quick, got a question for you. Right now, how many users in your environment have their credentials leaked right now? It's not an unreasonable question. 
right? We live with this kind of fear that someone's given their creds away. Carl's just typed it in somewhere, not thinking twice. But how would you know? Maybe you go to a website that's super awesome, like Have I Been Pwned? And then you type in one credential at a time, hand jamming them in there. That's wicked slow. It will work, but it's slow. Or you could create a sock puppet account maybe and go on the dark web and look around, maybe download or buy some data dumps. That's expensive, it's time consuming and potentially illegal depending on where you're buying it and how you're doing that. So Flare.io actually has a killer answer to this question. They scour thousands of dark web forms, marketplaces, breach databases, telegram channels in real time, scraping all the content and making it incredibly searchable in their platform. Thank God they're thorough with screening who their users are though, because giving access to this level of search I swear to God, it would be a bougie magic lamp for any threat actor if they could get in here because it's basically just lays it out for them. This is powerful as you effectively have a 24 seven presence scanning the dark web for compromises. And before those credentials can be exploited, you can actually take action and expire them or you know do what you need to do. It gives organizations a fighting chance with a window to operate before that exploitation of those creds happen. Now, I wanna take you through a quick little demo here of doing leaked credentials. You can see, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this site. Uh, I'm gonna choose from the categories the option of leaked credentials. They've got several different options, but I'm gonna choose just leaked credentials. And I'm gonna choose a Fortune 500 company that you know I'd never heard of until I did this research, Applied Materials. So I put it on and you can see, literally as of today's recording, you can see that there are leaked credentials and all of those leaks will actually show you the username and part of the password or password hash so you can actually you know investigate and do a follow-up to see whether or not those credentials are in fact compromised and it gives you a little bit of insight into where they came from this is very useful it allows you to you know like I said expire creds before they happen and also a spoiler alert you absolutely should have multi-factor authentication in place but people reuse credentials they leak credentials and you know basically hashes can be cracked so just be mindful of that let's look at another daily grind use case that flip makes wicked easy detecting look-alike domains now a look-alike domain is a domain name that looks similar to your legit business but it's not and it's often malicious right think of dankofamerica.com or capital one where the O and one is actually a zero. Phishing emails and malvertising could be used to trick your staff or your customers to fall victim to compromise, and they could have really catastrophic impact on your business if a threat actor is able to get employee credentials and pivot in, maybe get into email, business email compromise, get into a network device, et cetera, et cetera, right? A famous example of this was actually at the beginning of the pandemic, there was a look like domain created for Zoom, the teleconferencing app, and basically threat actors paid to be the top result on Google and tons of people went to Google, typed in Zoom and then downloaded from this lookalike domain what they thought was a Zoom client and then actually was malware they were downloading. It was a really nasty rash that uh, people had there. And you could, to combat this, just try and type random <laughs> lookalike domain names into a web browser and see if anything returns, right? Maybe you get fancy and you write a Python script using curl and you put in a list of lookalike guesses, but that's clunky, right? And it's only as good as the list that you come up with, which I know you're a smart person and you'd come up with a great list, but threat actors are wicked smart too and they come up with all sorts of crazy clever domain lookalike names. So Flare allows you to look very quickly at lookalike domains based on your legit domain. And you can immediately see this in the response. Like I said, the responses are wicked snappy, so it's super cool. It's super easy. It's a very actionable punch list, if you think about it, for the InfoSec team to drill down and take action on getting the malicious sites taken down. Now, domain takedowns can only be done at the registrar level, and you can ask the registrar directly, or you can engage with a cert or C cert to help. Or if you don't have time for that, Flare actually baked in a button that is one click that allows you to request the domain takedown. Super convenient. Now, let's look at my absolute favorite use case Flare can help me and you with. What if you have a compromised workstation in your environment and you don't even know about it, right? It happens all the time. Maybe you have EDR or endpoint detection response is terrible. Maybe you don't even have EDR and hope is your actual cyber strategy. Whatever the reason, if you have a popped box, you're at a major risk. But how do you find a compromised box if you have no visibility? Do you wait for Carl to call the help desk and complain that his Magic the Gathering client is running sluggish? 
<laughs> no, right? So Flare.io provides even more value, and this is really a wonderful feature, because information stealer malware steals all the things, including pulling information about the compromised asset itself, including details about the directory structure, the username, uh, sometimes the host name and stuff like that. It's very, very powerful. This means that the effectiveness of the malware is partially its Achilles heel as well, because when it mines that information, we as practitioners are able to see that it was Carl's machine or the CEO from the Miami office or the head of research or whoever has a compromised asset, which allows us to immediately take action and you know basically contact that user, quarantine their machine if we have the capability with EDR to do it and you know basically get it cleaned up. It's awesome, right? Definitely alarming to see but at least you have awareness and can literally take action to respond and swap out you know, the infected machine for a good one. Let's do a quick demo, right? Look here, as I'm showing compromised assets from Redline Info Stealer and the details of that compromised asset. You can search for your org's domain and proactively be alerted if an asset arrives. If you have a certain naming convention for your users, you could search obviously for that and find those compromised devices. Obviously, you can filter on infected devices again another strong feature so you don't get muddied up in the information deluge that we talked about earlier the filtering capability and the ability to really dial down and only look for what you want and then be proactively notified now i promised you a bonus feature and i appreciate flair including this now digging in the weeds thread hunting the dark web it's all very cool right but most analysts work for a business right and the business likes to get updates and status reports and got to your 9 15 meeting and don't be late for the 2 30 meeting right it's like oh my god bro i'm trying to work right this can really drag on so flare has you covered with this reporting functionality literally it's one button click and that's all you need to do and it creates a tailored current of the moment threat intel report that has an executive summary so management can consume that it's a bullet list basically so you could quickly convert it to a nice little PowerPoint or have a couple key slides and you know literally be able to go from working 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 and then oh we need you for a status update and you can have that right there and not really be sweating it on top of it the report actually gives a nice detailed analysis for the security office to be able to dig deeper kind of see trend data and allow you this is really really smart by the way they auto automatically show how your organization compares to organizations of a similar size in the same industry over the last 30 days. Trust me, businesses love saying, well, what are our competitors doing? How do our competitors look? It's like, it's like they're not trying to, you know, secure themselves to a level of satisfactory. They're trying to say like, what's everybody else doing? And we'll just copy them. So this literally gives you that capability and that potential with just one click, which I'm telling you, it's a game saver. Like, thank you, Flair for making it super easy for me to just focus on the work instead of the updates and reporting of the work. Now, Flare.io isn't just a tool, it's a comprehensive solution for cyber threat intel digital risk protection, external attack surface management, right? Shout out to Flare.io for sponsoring the video, but the thoughts and opinions are my own and my opinion of the product is I love it. If you're looking to streamline your cybersecurity efforts, strengthen your defenses, give Flare.io a little bit of a sniff. Go check it out at the link on the screen right there. I'll put it in the description as well. And if you want to learn more about cyber threat intel analysis as a career field, go check out this video that's going to pop up right now with Samuel Clemens that I did right after this. It's epic and it'll answer all the questions you have or didn't know that you had about cyber threat intel. I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay secure.